Yo peeps, welcome back to the channel. You know I mean, for those who are new on the channel, I'm franchise. You know I mean, this is my EK behind me. Um, so today, I'm gonna be talking about, you know, everything. Well, not everything, as much as I can remember. Um, so today is story time for the EK, you know, just to keep, uh, to get all the new persons on my IG, new persons on my YouTube channel, you know, how I got from where I got from to where I'm at now. All right, if you're um, new to the channel, subscribe for more videos, check out my old videos, um, share it with a friend, like, thumbs up, all of that, you know. All right, so anyways, how I got started. Um, this was my mom's car. Um, she bought it in like, I think 2001, and I acquired it afterwards. You know she got tired of it she wanted to upgrade to an suv and you know she was about to sell it uh in the it was you know in the yard there were like a lot of nissans and that was the initial brand i cling to because you know that's what i saw my father driving my uncle driving my brother driving you know everybody else was driving a nissan so you know that's where i wanted to be um when my mom first got this even my mom had a nissan she had a b13 big up to all her b13 money out there she had a B13, you know, it was new back then, you know. Um, she had one of that, and when she went to a Honda, I kind of felt betrayed. I was like, oh, she moved from Nissan to, to Honda. I actually thought the car was ugly when she first got it, but you know that kind of hate you have when, you know, something, your transition, or you're, you're supposed to be transitioning to a new thing, and, you know, it isn't what you thought it was. So when she bought this, I thought, you know, I never like it. Anyways, it grew on me. She was selling it. I knew the history of the car. I figured buying this would be better than buying, you know, from a stranger out there. So I bought the car from her. Um, like immediately afterwards, she gave me, like she gave me back like 50 grand out of the money for um, insure the car. I mean, dead broke. I had just started working, you know, way back when, you know. So y'all car persons know, you know, car insurance, you know licensing all of that and i know it's an expensive thing to keep a car up on the road so but then you know that's what I, my mom did thank you mom uh so after that i just thought about giving the car my flavor so the first mod i did was cutting the spring you know but then suspension wasn't so prevalent so um cutting the spring was the, the most common mod for us car enthusiasts out there so I cut the spring on the car lowered it down to the ground I mean belly out big up to my you know all-time mechanic Ducky Kevin Ducky you know what I mean when I see him in other vlogs I'll leave you know a card up here and vlogs that he's in um yeah so big up to him and cut the spring them for me you know what I mean get the car a low profile um, immediately afterwards, I went to Billy, that's down in Rock Chilani. Big up to him as well. And I bought his tint man in Achilani. Um, he tinted the car, you know, midnight black for me. You know, I had issues seeing at night, but I just love the tint, you know, because tint was all the rage back then. So immediately after tinting the car, I bought some 16 inch wheels. Um, I bought some black 16 inch wheels. You know, there weren't anything, you know, hype or hot, but, you know, I mean, they were better than the 13 inch hubcaps and, you know, coal pot that I had on the car. So, I bought some 16 inch black wheels, I rocked those for a while, and then um, I got a deal to sell them, you know, rim and tire. I sold them and used the money to buy some 17 inch silver star sprung rims i don't remember what the brand was we weren't really looking into you know the name of wheels and wheel specs and stuff like that back then we just buy rims and put on rims because rims look good so i bought those i'll put them on the screen so you can see what the black one as long as i have images of it i'll show you which i i'm supposed to have um i'll show you what the silver ones look like um when i bought the silver wheels i didn't even get to reach home with the silver rims a friend of mine like saw me on my way home love of the wheels and decided to 
um, are for me his wheels, which funny enough, I saw his wheels, but I couldn't afford those. So I opted to go the silver ones. You know what I mean? And him say, yo, him like the silver ones more than him like the one him. But me love, we opted to do a swap. So I never reached home with the wheels. I did not get home with the wheels. The wheels, we actually just did a swap. He gave me um, the wheels he had on. I'm gonna show you those wheels. Now these were my pride and joy. I loved these rims going to bed. Um, I just love the lip. I love the, the spoke design, the black. You know what I mean? Contrast with the white and the car. Trust me, I just love them. I rocked those. I think I had those the longest on the car since I've ever been, you know, changing rims and all that. Anyways, fast forward uh, maybe a year or two. I was in Montego Bay. Now I'm going to the next modification I did to the car. I was in Montego Bay. Um, at, this, at this time, I was just rolling low and slow, you know, transmission D15B wheels. You know what I mean? I saw a green Civic with some orange wheels pull up beside me at LOG stoplight in Montego Bay. Um, Y'all Montegonians, you don't know exactly what I'm talking. Um, big up yourself, King Catch. You know, I'll put his IG on the screen. This man was the first uh, motivation for me to get my car to a next level. Um, I was always scrolling through the internet, you know, checking out pictures. You know, the usual car enthusiast thing, looking at pictures, picturing what you want the car to look like in the future. You know what I mean? But this car rolled up beside me and I said, no, definitely, I need to step up my game. My car, the car was nice for what it was, but when I pull up, I said, all right, I need to step up my game. Um, when I move off, I shift, you know, first, second, third. I said, no, a transmission now going to work for me. So, I have to go switch it. I end up buying a transmission, a manual transmission. Um, I never get a starter. At the time, I didn't know that they don't come with starters. Um, well, the starters are different. The manual transmission starter is, um, isn't the same as the automatic. So I had to push start the car, you know, for a few days after, you know, changing transmission. <laughs> uh, boy, I tell you. Um, it, it went on for like maybe two or three days. I had to push the car. Big up the strong man that's Merwin. He's in um, another vlog of mine. I'll put the card here on the screen, you know, so you can check it out. Strongman Merwin, big up yourself. He he um, sourced a manual transmission starter, um, which he bought from Ghetto Greg. Big up yourself to me, General. Um, boom, I got a starter. It was working. I think the only thing I had to do was change the brush um, in the starter, and that was it. Boom, I had a starter. I could click, you know, I could use the key and start the car. Um, after after that, I was wondering, you know, what what other modifications I could do to the car. Um, you know, at this time we were going to, you know, Iron Shore religiously every Sunday. You know, watching you know people come out and race. You know, Virgo Spoon, not Spoon from Sandy Bay, not Ocherius. Virgo, Spoon, anybody who was anybody that you know had a fast car then Ryan, Ali Rhino, um, big up yourself too. Um, anybody who had a bad car at that point was at Iron Shore running. So um, Spoon pull up on Sunday and I say, Oh, this man car sounds so, like the car just a grumble different. And I say, Yo, him and um, Ryan, that's Ali Rhino, uh, them pull up. And I heard the cars and I say, yo, this little transmission and you know whatever it is my car, there's something something need to change. You know what I mean? That started my venture into speed and not just low and slow, you know, looks. You get me? Um uh, going forward I decided I wanted to get the car, you know, a more aggressive look. I wanted it to sound or be more powerful. So I sourced, um, you know, black headlights. I sourced the grill. I sourced um, lip for the car. Um, I started inquiring about, um, you know, speed. Anything that would get me more speed with the engine I had, and that led me to to buy a RS. 
um, RS a Honda Civic RS head that came with WV Tech on it. Installed it on the car, and I thought I was going back me. You know, at that point, I did not know the intricacies of you know the things needed to you know do an upgrade to your car. Um, so when I did it, when I did the swap the car, you know, the car wasn't passing a certain RPM, and I was like, yo, I swear this would get my car up and running, you know, carry on nicer, get a nicer vibe out of the car. After doing some inquiries, I was told I need I needed a a you know P twenty eight P O seven any one of those um OBD OBD one um brains Honda brains I needed that and I needed a jumper harness to step down from OBD two these cars they come OBD two for persons out there who have a ninety nine two thousand um they come 19, um they come OBD two if you're doing modifications in regards to like brain and stuff like that you're going to need to get a jumper harness or you can have your your um, electrician wire the, the um the wire loom straight into the brain you can do something like that but anyways that's what i did i went and got a brain i had a chip and tune big up to indian um in Montego bay he was the one that did that for me um chip and tune so now i had a d15 um with a rs head on it with the chip brain and the jumper harness, car can rev out, you're going to VTEC, you know, crossover for D15s are knowing you're close. Sometimes you can't even hear it um, like it is a B series or a K series, but I enjoyed it then. Um, it was fun. I can show you a clip like right now of what the car. <laughs> car was, you know, what the car was like after doing that um so you know i got a whole new piping system two and a half piping system put in um put under the car um i went coil overs that's the sleeve overs not the, the full suspension i went coil overs removed the cut springs from after car um the 17 inch wheels the two and a half uh the two and a half piping system underneath the car and um the small you know engine mods to get the car a, li a little more preppy I enjoyed the car for what it was then. I enjoyed the D15B, you know what I mean? I don't rev it till you overheat. But, you know, I enjoyed it. Um. Alright, so fast forward, um, I transitioned to some silver 17 inch wheels. Now, how I got those, um, I saw them on a Mazda 323 in Montego Bay. I kept seeing the Mazda, but I wasn't able to find the owner. Um, every day I asked, um, you know, person, the river it was parked. Yo, you see the owner, them saying, him just gone. I leave the car if it was. I say, oh, Jano. Anyway, I get him number. Eventually, big up yourself, Megatron. Um, I got his number, link him up, and um, I say, Yo, I love the rims, bro. I need to purchase them. I say, Yo, you know, really, you never really appreciate if you sell the rims, so you know what I mean. Anyways, I convinced him to do that, sold my wheels, and then purchased his. I'll let you see what it looked like. I thought these wheels are beautiful, I love them. Gone to bed, you know what I mean. I wrapped, this, I wrapped these, uh, you know, for a while. And um, you know, me I love the car. Um, transitioning into, you know, me getting, you know, going B series. B series was dominating at um at that point. There wasn't really much talk about K series. Our K series swap was super expensive. It was like buying another car. So kind of still is, but it way cheaper now. But um, transitioning to B series now. It was a stroke of bad luck and good luck, you know, and how I got it. Um, I had a friend, big up yourself, Ramon. Um, he he bought a Integra. He bought a DC2 with a built B series in it. You know, we seek up pistons, rods, cams, all of that. Um, 
When you buy that, I say, oh, Janelle, I'm looking at D15B. Can't go keep up in the road. As I mean, I'm looking B series. Anyways, I couldn't find. Um, I just wasn't in the position then. You know what I mean? Which is another reason I'm doing a video like this. Just to let you know the youngsters know out there that, you know, not to be discouraged. Just have patience, put in the work. You know what I mean? It will come. I didn't have the money then to go B series. So. You know, I just basically held off, you know, thought I would save up some money, you know, do what I need to do to go B-series. Um, Ramon, he, he dragged pistons in it, bought a new B20, that a CRV B20, and um, was thinking of putting the, you know, the head back on, some new pistons in it, the rods, the whole works to get it back up and running. He ended up not doing that and putting you know just putting the the um crv engine in the in the car after doing so the car um had an accident and he showed me and he was like yo bro i'm not gonna fix it you still want to be serious if you want to be serious come and take everything out of the car put in a year car and then you can pay me for it afterwards i'm like cool we do that um we took all the components from that car jack up my car you know swap out everything boom i was you know i went b series i was you know a b series man now um it was a crazy leap for me i enjoyed it because you know coming from like maybe 100 horsepower to one 100 and maybe 40 something 150 you know it was a big leap anybody out there know all motor you know that kind of leap you feel a complete difference the engine was more torquey you know what i mean it had more up top it was just, you know, a complete experience. We enjoyed the B series swap, you know, gone to bed. After getting it, I drove it around like that for a while and then I decided, you know, I needed to up, you know, the power of the B series. Um, I started gathering parts. It took me months, maybe a year, maybe two. I don't know. Um, a while though, I bought cams, I bought. Um, spring retainers you know titanium retainers about you know last motion assembly about you know injectors about ycp pistons about arp hardware about um any and everything that you can think of that would increase the power of an engine and i kept them about the head about a b16 head from a friend of mine big up yourself bird you know or usher and that's og detailing my boy just the same he he had the b16 head he was like yo me have a head put on you know he was like yo me have a head put on you know it can't come fit you know what i mean i paid him for it brought it home wash it clean it up sent it got it ported i bought a skunk 2 pro series intake i bought a 70 millimeter throttle body as well i sent those along with the head to get ported you know what I mean when it came back you know it was back to you know my mechanic my mechanic you know did the whole fit up you know I ordered a three inch piping as well you know based on all the specs you know given to me by my mechanic to you know get some more power out of the car so I bought everything that I needed um I bought a full coilover suspension now because I was going you know I was planning on going faster so I needed suspension um, I also bought bigger brakes about um, a car that seal brakes put to the front and I bought type R um, integral type R brakes this brakes and put it on the back I bought a full full subframe kit um, along with the you know the max speed and rod suspension um, to put on the car because basically you know going speed you need some stability you need um, more braking as well so I, you know I decided to, do, to go in the speed world going forward you get me so those were the modifications I did to the car maybe some other stuff that I can't remember you know immediately right now but um, I got all of that um, for the car did the build you know did the fit up I'll show you clips right now of what the car was when I first started it. Um, oh, go on again, this one, sir. Yeah, first started it. Yo, 
Come back in the need no more player. So after going you know, B series. Um probably I'll backtrack a little bit. Um for some persons that I don't know if I still have it on my IG or um I had on some red wheels, some XXR 531 series, some 17 by 8 25 offset um XXR wheels. I bought those during my single cam, my dingles days. Um you know just if you were wondering, you know what the transition was from the last the you know the last set of wheels. Um so after starting the car, um you know the car had to be tuned. So I opted to try a tuner I was hearing about, you know what I mean? Everybody was talking about this tuner, so I was like, you know, I'm gonna give it a try, you know, see what it is based on, you know, just word I'm out the road. So, big up yourself, specs. Um, I told him what I, what I had done to the engine. I asked him if I was able to drive it to Kingston without tuning it. You know, he said, yes, you can drive it as long as you're not rev it. Just drive, take time, drive the car, come at town. We'll meet at the diner. I had work in Kingston today. After work, after my, um, my shift was over, I, you know, called him. We went to the diner. Boom. You know, I'm tuning the car. I got 206, 206. Um, I was disappointed, to be honest, just based on my expectations from specs I've read, not specs the tuner, but you know specs online of the, the kind of power I would have made, you know, with the setup that I had. Um, I opted a little bit differently from the specs I saw online. Most persons were going tuner two or pro two series cams, but I opted to go tuner three with the compression I had. I was risking losing some power so but i wanted to experiment i didn't want to do what every, everyone else was doing so i just tried that i learned you know from that even though specs was saying it was more of a hindrance of the, the air intake i had on and the fact that you know the, the cam gears weren't really they weren't rocked or dialed or whatever whatever the term is tuners use so i was like he was like yeah man you can you know make some adjustments get a bigger ear intake and i mean retune and get more power so you know i was thinking all right we do that you know at a later date um after after doing that after the whole you know going to the dyno you know doing all the tune get the car you know higher you know more power i wasn't sure what next i would be doing to the car but you know as you guys can see you know where i was coming from up until now you know it's basically just whenever ideas come to me or i feel like changing something on the car you know i just do it so i hope you guys enjoyed this story time you know learning you know how far i'm coming from with this car up until now you know the journey to this point um, i'm hoping you all learned something from my experience me putting it out there you know what i mean you know for the experienced persons i know you don't learn it you haven't are you <laughs> you don't learn anything from you know my experience but for the young persons you know can drop your questions in the comment section you know anything you want to know in regards to any modifications you plan on doing to your car you know anything that you are unaware of and you know you know that advice coming from someone would you know help it or help the journey you know a bit easier comment down below you see me um i hope you all enjoy the content you know <laughs> this is the franchise um Catch y'all on the next one.